Well, why should you listen to me? Why would you as a person want to listen to me as a person? If we're in this meeting, I'm doing the presentation on pricing strategies. You're sitting there as a team member. Just because I'm the one that has that position where I should have the fact, it doesn't mean that you as a team member will trust me to be a person that you want to listen to. And then suddenly, suddenly it gets weirdly personal and sort of non-professional. But let's face it, we're all humans. And that's sort of the obstacles that we're constantly working with in communication is that we're human beings trying to connect with each other. And communication doesn't ever work if we're not really interested in communication. In presentation, where it's just you being in front of a, a, an audience, um, that structure becomes linear instead of having an argument in the middle that you're bombarding from different sides. Then ethos comes first, and ethos simply means credibility. It doesn't exactly mean credibility, it's Greek, but let's call it that, because it's a good word for it. Because if you get up in front of people, the first thing you have to establish is why is it you? are supposed to be up here talking about whatever you talk about. If you're at work, you have whatever job you have, you have whatever position you have. Uh, I know Andre used to work in pricing at some point, um, and I actually mentored him uh, on a <laughs> job interview process at some, at some point, which he got, <laughs> um, thanks to my brilliant mentoring. Um, <laughs> And if his manager back then came and said, I need you to, uh, we're going to have a meeting uh, on Friday at noon. Um, the team is going to come in. We've got to make some decisions about this new pricing strategy. Then it's part of his job. Then he knows the manager is going to come. I need you to just uh, three minutes, you know, get the facts on the table. You know, what is the basis of this decision that we have to make? And then he knows, yeah, that's my job. That's what I got to do. Um, and in that case, then the people that will be listening, they're not going to be in that, they're gonna, not going to have that need for establishing trust and credibility in the speaker because they know that's his job. They know that he should be credible about talking about the facts of, of, of the pricing of this, this project because that's what he's hired to do. So let's just assume that he knows that. But it doesn't mean that you can't also refer to, to ethos as being, well, why should you listen to me? Why would you as a person want to listen to me as a person? If we're in this meeting, I'm doing the presentation on pricing strategies. You're sitting there as a team member. Just because I'm the one that has that position where I should have the fact, it doesn't mean that you as a team member will trust me to be a person that you want to listen to. And then suddenly, suddenly it gets weirdly personal and sort of non-professional. But let's face it, we're all humans. And that's sort of the obstacles that we're constantly working with in communication is that we're human beings trying to connect with each other. And communication doesn't ever work if we're not really interested in communication or in communicating with each other. I'll get, I'll get back to that because interest is, is a big deal. Um, so you start by establishing why me? Why should you listen to me? Mm -hmm.